cereal box puzzles. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, a lot of Incredible. cereal box puzzles. There yeah. are so many. <laughs> Start your day with silly and safe. Start your day with sassy and sage. Sincerely, simply, seriously cereal. Everyone's welcome here. Hi. Hi. New sort of cereal. Ooh, what are we doing today? Oh, Wait. <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm Maxwell. And I'm Brienne, one of Maxwell's moms. Welcome to Seriously Serial. Episode 426. <laughs> Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer-run nonprofit dedicated to bringing people together. Find out more at www.seriouslyserial.org. That's right, Spoony. If you like to eat your cereal dry, then you're a snacker, like our buddy, Bowler. <laughs> Hello! Hey, Bowler. Or, if you prefer your cereal with milk, then you are a spooner, like our pal Spoonie, who's also Seriously Cereal's director. Each month we create episodes with a theme. This month's theme is... Sorta of Cereals. So, things that are inspired by cereal, but aren't cereal. Because cereal inspires a lot of products. Yeah, and we've definitely found some unique sort of cereal for this month. It's the word of the day. Unique. Something unusual or unexpected that has no equal. Unique. It's the word of the day. From your friend, Sunny. Bye. Thanks, Sunny. Today we are reviewing cereal box puzzles. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, a lot of cereal box puzzles. There yeah. are so many. <laughs> All right, Spoonie, time to talk. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We don't need bold for these. We don't, no. Uh, so it looks like these are all General Mills cereals. Okay. And it looks like all of these are Kellogg cereals. Oh! The first jigsaw puzzle was invented in 1760. Oh, that was 264 years ago. <gasps> wow! <laughs> the inventor was John Spilsbury, a cartographer. That's a fancy word for a map maker. What he did he, is he took a map and attached it to a piece of wood and then cut it into pieces to make a puzzle. Do you like to do puzzles? Let's see what our friends have to say. All right, Spoonie, time to share. Hi, I'm Jax. I think puzzles can be pretty cool, but I don't really like to do puzzles because I have to stay still for too long. I love to run, climb, jump, dance and play and you can't really do any of those things while you're building a puzzle someday i hope someone makes a super big puzzle that i'd have to run around to do <laughs> hi my name is amber and i am answering the question about puzzles and the question was do you like puzzles and yes i actually do like puzzles the question wasn't specific about puzzles, but I actually like to do the jigsaw type puzzles as well as crossword puzzles and Sudoku puzzles. So um, I don't get to do jigsaw puzzles that much because um, I don't have a place where I can just keep it out all the time and I have cats. So if I keep it out for too long, um, sometimes the pieces run away and then I'm missing a piece and that it's always that last piece that you're missing and you can't find. 
um, and I have a mischievous little kitten so she likes to uh, be in the middle of stuff and then also sometimes when I do jigsaw puzzles one of my cats just decides that she wants to lay on top of the puzzle and then I can't do anything because there's a cat in the middle of my puzzle so um, while yes I do like to do jigsaw puzzles I don't uh, do them very often I do however do crossword puzzles almost every day and sudoku puzzles almost every day I have some apps on my phone and so I, um, I basically get daily crosswords and daily Sudoku puzzles and I do those and I really, really enjoy them. I've been doing crossword puzzles ever since I was a little girl, but um, it's something that's relaxing and it's something that I can do uh, pretty much anywhere if I just have a little bit of spare time or I need something to just take my mind off of anything. So yeah, I absolutely do like puzzles. I love puzzles and I love trivia and I love, you know, things that need to be figured out. I think it keeps me um, relaxed and mentally sharp. Hi, I'm Sunny and I love puzzles. I especially love puzzles of nature, like a forest on a sunny day or a lake on a sunny day or a beach on a sunny day. <laughs> I guess I love sunny days. Oh, hello there. This is David. Do I like puzzles? Yes, I love puzzles. I love doing jigsaw puzzles with my kids and grandkids where you work on it all together. Except that two things annoy me. First, usually somebody in the family, when everybody's busy, they steal one of the pieces and hide it. And then at the very end, when people say, oh, there's only one piece left, <gasps> it must have fallen on the floor, and everybody looks for that piece. This sneaky person pulls it out and says, oh no, here it is, and they get to put the very last piece in and go, ta-da! Oh, I hate that, because I want to be the one to say ta-da. And the second thing that really annoys me is when people choose ridiculous pictures. I mean, as you can probably tell, I am an intellectual and sophisticated person. You know, I like to do jigsaw puzzles of like famous art paintings. You know, like a, an abstract Picasso, where all the eyes and noses and mouths are in the wrong place. But some people choose the most ridiculous pictures to do, like a flock of yellow canaries looking for lemons in a field of daffodils. I mean, <laughs> every piece has got yellow on it. It's just impossible. No, no, no. So, no, I will not do a jigsaw puzzle with you because I'd be looking to see if you were the person that had stolen the last piece. And especially I won't do it with you if you choose one of those ridiculous pictures like a family of polar bears looking for bowls of vanilla ice cream in the snow. <laughs> I mean, every piece is going to have white on it. It'll, just, it'll be impossible. <laughs> I hate jigsaw puzzles. I do. I just hate them. <sighs> jigsaw puzzles. Thank you, friends. What about you? Head over to seriouslyserial.org and click the mailbox to send us a message. Yeah, we love hearing from Nutrition time! For Chameleon, puzzles don't have nutrition facts. Ha <laughs> ha! No nutrition facts this week? Not a problem. I wrote a poem instead. <clears throat> red berries are red. Blueberries are blue. Too much added sugar is bad for you. <laughs> Thank you for the poem, Fork Million. You're welcome. <laughs> He's a poet. <laughs> we didn't even know it. <laughs> oh, hey there, spider. <laughs> hey, bowler. You have some price information for us? I sure do, Maxwell. What you're reviewing today costs... And there are servings. Let's figure out how much each serving costs. Divide the price by the number of servings. Ta-da! Math is awesome. Thanks, Bowler. Thank you too, Spider. <laughs> so each set of six puzzles costs twelve forty-nine. Okay, it's not bad. All right, so these, the Kellogg's cereal box puzzles, are made by Spin Master Puzzles. 
Each one of these puzzles is a hundred pieces and are rated for ages six and up. The General Mills puzzles are made by White Mountain, a hundred pieces, and made for ages six and up. Okay, so different companies, but the same information. Fair enough. All right, and the Kellogg's puzzles will each be nine by 13 inches when they're complete. Hmm. The General Mills puzzles will be smaller, only seven by nine inches. Interesting. <laughs> Ah, Spoony, I guess it's time to taste some puzzles. <laughs> um, oh, thank you. I, I'll, I'll play with one, though. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these all came in a pack together. It was, like, wrapped up with plastic, and it even had a fun little, uh, like, cardboard border around them that kind of mirrors the actual, like, uh, like si mini cereal six-packs. It's actually really fun. But, uh, inside each of these boxes is the actual puzzle, which comes in these little plastic bags. Very nice. All right, and then this one came in its own box, kind of like more of a classic puzzle box, you know, yeah. that kind of, like, hard, um, thicker cardstock. Uh, and it has the pictures of all of them on here and on the inside box, which is fun. Um, but then they're just each in a little, like, plastic baggie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm going to try to find the Lucky Charms puzzle, um, you know, because cereal marshmallows. Yeah, yeah. I love them. <laughs> and I guess I'll do, since I already have it open, the Fruit Loops puzzle, because, as you all know, fruit is my nemesis. This kind of feels like a little bit of an extra challenge because I have to figure out which puzzle is which. Yeah. All right. We'll just move all this out of here. And all right. I think we are just about ready. All right. And let's start. So I have all the corner pieces. I remember from the last time I did a puzzle that it is good to start from the corner pieces and then build inwards. And uh, we're trying something a little new this time so you guys can actually see what we are doing. Uh, so, I have to say I do like the, just while I'm searching for the next piece, I do like the they are definitely very high quality images of the cereal box. I mean, look at look at Toucan Sam's yeah. peppers. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I was. Mine is this is also I would say um, really nice, very bright, clear pictures. Um, the biggest thing I'm noticing is that your puzzles actually look like they're like jumbo size, yeah, like the puzzle yeah. pieces, yeah. Um, which is great, especially for younger kiddos. It's easier to pick them up and hold the pieces. Yeah, that is true. Um, and really, you know, visualize what you're doing. These, um, the General Mills puzzles seem to be just kind of standard puzzle piece size. Yeah. Well, they fit together very nicely. You just found the. Next oh, that's good. Right here. That's good. Right. I will say though, uh, as detailed as it is, uh, choosing Fruit Loops for this uh, may have been a mistake because this, like, it is not exactly distinct. What, <laughs> like, around the edges? Like, all the art is actually kind of like in the middle. Like, I'm just kind of going off of Toucan Sam's the reflection of his feet right now. <laughs> but I do like that the. Um, the little boxes, or in uh, in the General Mills puzzles case, uh, the full box, is, uh, the like art kind of also doubles as like a, a reference. Yeah, which I find super helpful, and that's actually why I think they have them printed on the inside. Mm. Is that on the outside box you can't actually see all of the picture because they have their branding and information on it, but on these you can. You can see the whole thing, which is cool. And actually, some of them you can even see the side. fit together very nicely like I honestly I honestly have no real real complaints I just wish that I could get to the <laughs> the actual interesting point but that's that'll depend on my skill if I can do it in the time frame yeah. oh yeah and uh, I just tried to put this in and this is the wrong piece and yay <laughs> they are fit but they are molded nicely where like you can't like just push them together and then you're like, is this the right piece? And then you later you're like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> Which is always helpful. Yes. All right, I've got the little leprechaun's 
face mostly. Nice, nice. So normally when I do puzzles, I do start with like the corner pieces. I separate all of the edge pieces. But the trouble that I found when I was looking at this one is that pretty much all the edge pieces are just red. Yeah, same, so same with the same with I thought with the I might start with like some stuff that made sense, like the logo mm. that says Lucky Charms. Yeah. So I've got some of those pieces here together um, in little chunks, and then the leprechaun's face, and then I've got some of the rainbow pieces separated too. Yeah. I think I'm making the Fruit Loops bowl. Ah, there's yeah, this, this, okay. be, this puzzle was definitely looking a lot, it's, it is definitely much bigger. Like, and that's even just from how much I've done so far. Quick look at this, I think it's, okay. I think it's going off frame at this point, jeez. <laughs> in there. Is this? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And is this? All right. Yeah, no, there we go. Well, I got the bottom done. So I count that as a win. Thank goodness. We can definitely see that this is a reflection of Toucan Sam's feet and the bottom <laughs> of the bowl of fruit loops. <laughs> totally. Totally. We know he's a bird. More rainbow. Okay. I'm still missing some letters. I should be staring right at them. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the puzzle experience. It's like it is. You're here somewhere, <laughs> but where? You should be. And obvious. actually, <laughs> let me just say, what's really cool, they even have like the little like information ah, right. on like the cereal fun. box. Like they have like the little like like little cereal number pun not intended. <laughs> I don't know if it's a. I don't know if it's the proper term, but. Yeah, they have a little product number, they have, like, the actual logo, they have, uh, I'm pretty sure... Well, okay, they don't have, oh. like, the nutritional information, but... Check that out. They do have, like, the Kellogg's logo, it's just... That's just real... Nice! Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh... <laughs> we definitely, uh, can see here who is the puzzle master. <laughs> Well, you got the whole bottom piece. I don't have any any row intact. <laughs> I just have part of the logo and part of the leprechaun. I think we both win. Oh, That's oh, how I I'll think play. puzzles work. Oh. Everybody wins. <laughs> okay, but uh, look at that. We're out of time. Um, I'm I'm not really sure if I know what my score is. You want to like take a walk? Yeah, or something? no, I have no idea what my score is. I don't think I'm actually gonna know until I can finish this puzzle. <laughs> So, okay, I guess that works. Uh, I don't. Yeah, what, what, what can we do while we finish up these puzzles, though? <laughs> we'll contemplate oh. our score. Oh. <laughs> Good idea, Smoothie. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, let's finish up these puzzles, and when we get back, we'll uh, we'll give you our scores. Time to create. of fun puzzles. A spoony and molar puzzle, a puzzle from a photo, and a puzzle from a drawing. Let's get started! Rawr! To make puzzles, you'll need the free puzzle craft sheet from SeriouslySerial.org, a photograph or a picture from a magazine, a pencil, scissors, and colored markers or crayons. Let's start with the puzzle of Spoonie and Bowler. What a cute picture! They're floating up to visit Sunny. <laughs> Let's color the picture first. Now we'll cut out the frame. Then, turn it over, drawing gently with a pencil. I'm going to draw squiggly lines down and across to make the puzzle pieces. Then, I'll cut out the pieces. Now let's 
make a puzzle from a photo. We'll use this photo of our friend Jack's lightning. Make sure to ask a grown-up if it's okay for you to cut apart a photo before you do it. And if you don't have a photo, ask a grown-up to help you find a picture in a magazine that you can use. Turn the photo or picture over. Use a pencil to draw two squiggly lines down the middle and one more squiggly line from top to bottom. Then carefully cut along your lines. That's so cool! Last but not least, let's draw a picture, then turn it into a puzzle. This blank puzzle is perfect for making your own. I'm going to draw a spider because she's so colorful. When you're done drawing, cut out the puzzle pieces and build. Wonderful! And that's how you make three different homemade puzzles. scores yet? Great! See you next time! Thanks for watching, everyone! Did you know that everyone who makes Seriously Serial is a volunteer? We are! You can find out more about the show at seriouslyserial.org. Because Seriously Serial is safe for kids, YouTube turns off comments when we post episodes online. But we love hearing from you! Go to seriouslyserial.org and use the mailbox to send us a message, and we might read it in a future episode. Find Seriously Serial every Saturday morning on YouTube at seriouslyserial.org and on public access television. See you next time. Bye. Start your day with silly and safe. Start your day with sassy and sage. Sincerely, simply, seriously serial.